Hey everyone, happy new year, happy 2021, 2021, that is. <sighs> like you don't know what year it is. I hope everyone had a great holiday, vacation, whatever. I know it was very unconventional for many people and families and households than how we would normally celebrate. <sighs> there I go with the gasping for air. But I hope everyone still had a great time doing whatever it is that you did for the holidays. If you celebrate the holidays, that is. Anywho, I'm really excited for this year. I don't know if you are. I'm not going to do what I did last year and say that, oh my god, 2020 is going to be the best year ever. 2020 vision. I just feel like it's going to be a good year. Like, just the sound of like 2020. Like, you think of like 2020 vision because it didn't go that way at all for anybody. But I am hoping that 2021 brings a lot more peace and clarity and joy for people, especially myself, because I'm having a baby. I'm having a baby, y'all. She's coming, she will be here before I even know it, and I'm freaking out for many reasons. One of these reasons being, I don't necessarily have a name picked out yet. Here's the sitch, y'all. Here is the sitch. Steven and I, we have a name picked out for a girl. This is basically the name we're probably gonna pick unless something more magical, spectacular, unique comes upon us, then I'd be willing to change it. With that being said, I'm going to share with you guys some of the names that I love that I will not be choosing for my baby and maybe it will inspire some of you guys to name your future babies or you can always comment down below name suggestions or maybe it's even your name I don't know maybe I'll name my baby after you which might be kind of weird but it might be kind of fun I mean I don't know let me start by saying I'm gonna do boys and girls because I don't have that many boy names than girl names that I have had saved in my noggin pretty much my whole life and let me just say if I was having a boy this whole name situation Would have been so easy Steven and I have had a boy name picked for years now And if I do have a boy later on that's gonna be my son's name no matter what But of course life did not throw me a boy life threw me a girl which is exciting But there's just so many more girl names out there that it's just so much harder for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Now, some of my names are pretty old school, I'm not gonna lie, but I have a reason for all of the names that I love that I'm not choosing, but I still love them. Boy name number one is Frank. Now, Frank is a very old name. <laughs> like, you don't really go around seeing little baby Franks nowadays but it was my great grandpa's name aka my papa who is the love of my life love that man so much he passed away a couple years ago and it just would be nice to like tribute that name to him but we're not gonna pick that name obviously it's a girl so frank is one of them it is a little old school but I love it because it's sentimental to me. Another name is Danny. Now, the reason I love Danny is because my biological dad's name was Daniel, but everybody called my dad Danny. So I thought that would be kind of cute too to like tribute to my dad and call my son Danny instead of Daniel. Funny story is I really thought I was having a boy this pregnancy. Like I had a dream that I was at a track meet which this is gonna sound so weird. So my dad was really athletic. Like he ran, he danced, he played sports. He was just so talented in many realms of his life. But I had a dream before I was pregnant that I was at a track meet in like a high school and I seen this kid running that I was cheering on and someone had said something to me and I said, yeah, that's my son. And when I seen this kid's face that was running, he looked just like my dad. And I was like, that's my son. Like, I'm having a boy. So I really thought I was having a boy because of that dream. But what's also weird is Steven has had a dream about like a little girl. So we both had a dream of opposite genders and we're having a girl. So I guess Steven's dream favored more. Long story short, Danny was another option. 
but we're not having a boy. Another boy name that I love, I love this name so much, is Kurt. Why? Kurt Cobain, like, need I say more? Steven and I love Nirvana. I love Nirvana so much, I almost got a tattoo of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what, that's a really long story, but it's true. And so I just love the name Kurt. And I also love Kurt Russell. Oh my gosh, him and Goldie Hawn are relationship goals. They're not even married and they're just so perfect for each other. But yes, I love the name Kurt. And my last boy name that I would have picked that I also love and it's unique. It's like something that I don't really see a lot, maybe more nowadays, but not too much. But I did get it from a movie. Comment down below if you know where it's from, but the name is Tobias. It's not that I love those movies. If you haven't guessed what they are, it is the Divergent series. Tobias is four in the movies. Um, Tobias is like his given name. I don't know, I just thought it's so cute. Like I just, I love that name. I love that name a lot. Okay, on to the most important part, the girls, because that is where we are. We're having a girl, right? Sorry, I'm on my phone, my notes. Okay, there are so many girl names out there and it's hard because like, do you ever just hear a girl name and you're like, oh my God, I know someone with that name. I know someone who has a kid with that name. Like I can't pick that name. So it's really hard, but here are just a few that I like why I like them and why I'm not using them. Number one being Bailey. I love the name Bailey, it's so cute. I do have a friend that I last worked with who her name is Bailey, love her, she's great. I don't know why I didn't pick it, but I do love the name Bailey. I think it's just such like a sweet, simple, I feel like it's cute for like a little girl and like an adult, which is also really important to me, like something that my daughter can grow into, you know? If that makes sense, like, I don't know, is that weird? Speaking of Kurt Russell, I really like, <laughs> this is gonna sound so weird and I feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't like this, but I love the name Goldie because of Goldie Hawn. Like, I love Goldie Hawn and Kate Hudson and Kurt Russell, like, I love them, they're great. Overboard, it's the jam, so good, so good. So yeah, I love the name Goldie, but it is kind of like a very different, older name. You know? So yeah, I didn't pick it, but I do love it. Goldie, I just, I think it's so, I don't know, like Goldie? Goldie? I don't know, maybe it kind of sounds like a dog now, now that I'm like, Goldie? Goldie? Goldie, come here, Goldie. Oh God, I better not talk to my kid that way. <sighs> Another name that I love, it's pretty obvious why I didn't pick this one, but I think it's really cute, is Gemma. And I got this idea from Fool's Gold, which has Kate Hudson, oh my God, I sound obsessed with them. <laughs> but there's a girl in there named Gemma, and the reason I didn't pick it is because, hello. I'm Jenna. We can't have a Gemma and a Jenna. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't do that to her. I don't I don't wanna like take any spotlight from her. I want her to have like her own unique sounding name. So that's why I didn't pick Gemma. But I do love Gemma too. I love all these names, obviously. That's the point of this video. Another name that I love that has a background story too, which is also a little bit older, is Lucy. Why did I pick Lucy? on my list of names. Long story short, when my parents were dating in like junior high and high school, so my mom is really tall and white and my dad is short and Hispanic, everyone used to call them Lucy and Ricky. <laughs> so I just thought of the name Lucy. <clears throat> Ugh, my voice. And I just thought it was kind of cute. Like it's simple and it's not like I'm naming her Lucille. Lucy, it's cute. It's real cute. This next name also has a background story. They all have background stories. I should just stop saying that. They all have background stories, okay? So another name is Molly. And the reason I love this name so much is because my favorite movie growing up was Pretty in Pink, which stars the one and only Molly Ringwald. And I love Molly Ringwald. Brat Pack, love them. St. Elmo's Fire, so good. Breakfast Club, so good. 16 Candles, so freaking good. I don't know, I just love the name Molly. It's just cute, like Molly. I like really short, simple names, if you're not noticing, but I do have some interesting names too. But yeah, Molly is one of them, which also reminds me, Polly was another one. I love the name Polly. And where did I get Polly from? You're gonna laugh. If you're a 90s, early 2000s kid, you probably know what I'm talking about, but Polly Pocket. Dude, Polly Pocket was so cool when I was like younger. I don't know, I was just thinking of like all my old toys and I thought of a Polly Pocket and I was like, oh my God, Polly is so cute. And like, I just love the name Polly. Like I really like Polly. 
it's so cute, it's so cute. Okay, this next one is kind of more my mom's favorite, you know, shout out to my mom, love you, you're the best, miss you, mucho. But I also really do like this name, is Adeline, and it makes me think of Age of Adeline with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Blake, Blake Lively? It's a great name. It's a very like old-fashioned name, which I don't mind. I like I like old school. It's cool with me. Uh, but Steven did not like it, <laughs> so scratch that off. Yeah. And lastly, this is my last girl name that I love, and this has been my number one pick for so long. Like I've always wanted to have a little girl and name her this, and that name is Amelia. I don't know, it's just one of those names that it just really catches my eye. It sounds so cute, so beautiful. I got it from freaking Amelia Shepard from Grey's Anatomy. You can laugh at me all you want. I love a Grey's Anatomy. And Amelia Shepard is a genius. She's a brain surgeon, so... And like, look at Amelia Earhart, first female to fly a plane, like, so cool. Amelia is a really cool girl name. Really cool girl name. But Steven doesn't like it, so scratch that off the list too. So like I said, we do have a name picked. We're not 100% set on that name. So if you have any name suggestions, please feel free to comment them down below. Bella! Leave your sister alone, dude. No. Okay, she can't be trusted. You're being mean to your sister. I know you're trying to show her who's alpha, but like, not cool, not cool. Okay, anyways, I better go before my cats try to kill each other. Is this what having multiple kids is like? Like, everybody wants to kill each other? Attack each other? Fight each other? Anyways. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great year ahead of yourselves. Yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you guys all on the next video. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye.